how would you value and identify adaptability in teams? How might you advise people to recognize what to stop doing and what to do more of in an exponential world? And then when to let go and when to lean in? I actually would, would look to, to um, some personality profiles for my teams and start building what we call an, a unique ability team, getting people to work on the areas that they're really, really strong in and getting rid of the areas that they suck at or drain them of energy. I think often in the school system, we were told to work on our weaknesses. What I love to do is delegate everything except genius and have people working on those areas that they're really strong in and that give them more energy because the more that they work in that, they're going to get better at it. They'll spend more time learning about it their energy will will kind of spin off into the organization as well. So that's what I try to do is adapt in terms of getting rid of the projects and, and initiatives that drain somebody and putting those onto the plates of somebody else that really loves them. <clears throat> Example for that is I'm pretty bad at written communication. I'm much better thinking out loud, doing speaking events or coaching. And I find that when I write things, I'm often fairly acerbic. I come off too abrupt. Um, I don't really clearly... So I write everything in bullet points and um, I'm just a bad writer when it comes to sending out longer forms of messaging. So what I'll often do is take my rough points and give them to a writer who can polish them and make them pop off the page. And they love taking the work and writing it. They're great at writing. It gives them energy. Whereas for me, writing actually drains me. So that's what I try to do in adaptability is getting people to work on their unique abilities.